Hello there, everybody. It is me, Noni Mums. This is Bar back. What the hell? I, I completely screwed up that intro. No Name 117 Spore. I'm leaving it in because I, I guess it's moderately funny. I don't know. Yeah, No Name 117 Spore. I'm back with Rule the Waves 3 as France, where it is currently February of 1918. Uh, the current situation is tensions have been declining. They're highest with Britain, which I really don't like. Um, but it is honestly... Italy, Germany, and Japan are still very likely opponents due to our alliance with Russia. I will, however, start reducing fleet readiness. Not a lot, but slightly. And these guys should probably be mothballed. Yeah. I think that's about the level of fleet readiness I want to be on. Um, the Trout class cruisers will be commissioning here over the next few months as well as um is that marseille or ah oh, man i i need to ask that person about how to say this i want to say marseille but let's i don't think that is because marseille would be this this is marseille this is like marseille marseille i don't know i'll have to uh uh, you know, I'll have to ask someone about that. But yeah, we have, uh, those CBLs will be completed relatively soon. And then we also have the, uh, new ones being built. We also did get, uh, dual-purpose guns unlocked. I think we currently do not have, yeah, any anti-aircraft guns. That might need to go to high. This might need to go to high, especially now that we have these ships in operation. I'm... I'm going to bring naval guns down to medium again. I think I'm kind of at the point where I'm not sure I need those on high anymore. I'll uh, leave those on high, leave that on high. Yeah, I think that is good. I'm not using submarines that much, so I'll bring subs to low. Okay. Uh, ignore. So, Shroud will complete. I, I have so little funds. Okay, um, I have so little funds right now that if I want to get new cruisers laid down, I'm probably going to wait until Desai, or the two Desais, so uh, Marcelli and uh, Kleber complete. Run calculations, increase in ASW. Oh, hey, new uh, patrol bomber. Battle in the med between... Oh, yeah. Italy and Austria are at war. Italian... Sh okay. Cup they were losing a couple destroyers. Yeah, so if I go all relations... Yep, there's the war. And, uh... Aircraft types. I need... Probably do want to request a new proposal. So we're developing a new fighter... Um, I guess a float plane scout could be the thing to get, so I think range and reliability would be the top two priorities. Did get a new... Okay, I got a new cruiser into service. Um... Oh, man. I have N... I don't even have, like, a confirmed above average. No, I have one confirmed above average, and he's on a pretty good ship, actually. Um, but I'll, I'll move him down. Uh, I have some average guys over here. Grab him. And then, uh... Just take an unassigned guy there. Okay. So in terms of unassigned guys, I don't have any who are particularly good. Like, normally I do. But, you know, I do want to take a look at 
some of these other ones. Charge of destroyer divisions. Yeah, you are above average. Means I will probably grab an average guy for that destroyer division. I'm building like eight destroyers right now, right? Yeah. Um. Oh, war with Japan might break out relatively soon between Russia and them, and then I imagine that I will be called into that. Okay, a new CL's commission, a new CL's commission. Um. Best to avoid war. Okay, now I get improved director. Enables light anti-aircraft guns. Two guys have shown themselves. Be a below average. God damn it, Britain. That is not who I want to fight. I'm trying to avoid this, but apparently it's difficult. Yeah, they have they have some fairly strong ships under construction right now. But yeah, good news is I got my uh, Trout class CLs done. So, um... I mean, I think the overall gun layout is fine. I might go down... Uh, go Improved Director. Speed Defense 2. I'm gonna get rid... Oh wait, no, hold on. I can dual purpose secondary guns. So I can't do this. And the reason I wanted to uh, set this all up, first of all, get the maximum amount of mines. Topside load... Oh, I'll have to check on topside load capacity. I'll have to be really careful about that. Um, I want torpedo mounts. Topside limit exceeded. Um, yeah, let's bring it back down to like 50 mines. Hmm. This is the most I can increase the mass by. Any other directors and proved directors? Ten. Each of the main gun turrets is three. And I need to get like those on too. Okay, so if I decrease the torpedoes, it does decrease it a little bit. But honestly, that's the most efficient usage. Okay, um... Hmm. Going up to 4-inch secondaries does not change the topside load situation from them. Yeah, and I cannot add, like, super-firing turrets, it seems. Oh, no, I do have the X super-firing. Um, hmm. I don't want to handle this. Okay, so that's not changing the amount of topside load. Um... What's your heavy anti-aircraft factor? 10? Yeah, I, I think I want the 4-inch guns. Yeah, that means I get one light anti-aircraft gun. Somewhere on the ship. 
Hmm. Is that really worth not really worth it. It does mean that these ships are going to be difficult to modernize um, going forward. If I can get just a little bit more topside load. It's about there. It does get me a little bit more deck armor, too. Okay, so that results in a larger ship, but one which is better armored. And it has a good heavy anti-aircraft rating, but not a good, like, medium or light anti-aircraft rating. Um, the other thought is I get rid of FG. From a topside load perspective, that's only three per. Eight secondary dual purpose mounts is 24. So I think each secondary mount's also like three. And slight anti aircraft is three. The mine capacity is probably also not helping. Uh, matters. Although the mines is something I could probably drop in the future. Yeah, dude, uh, the boy Toi. Okay, um, everything looking good. So, here, let's say I do 59 mines. That does increase it. If I do 55, that does increase it. If I do 51, does that increase it? Yes, it does. So, every 10 mines, uh, increases it by one. So I will, I will be using three light anti-aircraft guns then. Let me see if I can get mine rails. Mine rail one. Mm, hold on, I need to look up, uh, first of all, um, French light cruisers. This would be a, uh, a light cruiser. Um, we get the ones they captured, and then get their first proper one with the uh, actual real-life decoy class. Um, but I don't think those had single mounts. I think those had uh, triples. I look up uh, mine laying cruiser. And I do need to move the torpedo tubes. I'm not forgetting about that. Do note. Okay. I'm looking at mine lane cruisers. I'm trying to figure out where the mine rails are often put. Yeah, I think they would just be astern. So, you know, normally the mine rail is going somewhere back here. Kind of difficult to do with the way the um, turret is. I can try something like that, I guess. The mine rails are kind of around the sides of the aft turret. A little cramped, but I think it can work. Um, so gun-wise, uh, I'm gonna take which gun? This guy. I'm actually gonna set these guys. Hmm. I don't want to handle the torpedo tube locations.
No, I think I think those six inch guns go better there. How do I handle this? Position these mounts. Maybe eh, a little too far. Yeah, I guess I can kind of have them there. Um, that does mean that I gotta move these boats, though. What's that? Might do this. Hold on, set rest angle. I'll do like 357. Set position, remove that visual, mirror that one. So we got, I have the astern mine rails. What I think I'm gonna do now is structure one. I'm going to move this point a little bit outwards. Okay, so she has a little bit of an odd shape. I'm kind of imagining that's a little bit more of an uh, outcropping for the uh, torpedoes. And if I can add a uh, light AA1. Where would it go? <laughs> Yeah, I can see why this ship's having topside load issues. I guess that's that's where the light anti-aircraft will go. I'd love to spawn some those, but oh well. Yeah, I think that it, I think that's good. So um, yeah, those will be new. CLs. Uh, some ships have no commander assigned, which would be these guys. So, who can I grab? Um, grab the commander of Sukuf. All the good commanders got promoted, it seems. Do we have anybody good on a pass scout? No. Maybe the male guy of Duchela. Move down. Brohan might. Uh, I can see this Motez guy being good. Uh, Eileen. I mean, these older cruisers are so obsolete at this point, it might just be... Oh, I have an, an above average on a sign guy. I don't realize that. I guess you can go on Duchela. Then I can grab uh, this average on a sign guy. Okay, cool. Um... Relations, ooh, Russia, Japan are probably going to go to war very soon. 
Okay, um, I think right now the idea is to prepare for a possible war with Japan. I will sell that there. An Austrian submarine has been sunk. Thus relations decline. They're still at 12. Um, so air... Hold on, not aircraft types. Air groups. Actually, first of all, I do have a Shanghai, so I want to get a couple 6-inch batteries done there. Air base at Shanghai, and then an air ship base at uh, Shanghai would be good. And build naval bases. Japan does have Borneo. But that is currently out of reach of my invasion range, and I'm going to assume that I have more invasion range than they do. Um, although, they do have Guam. Uh, but their base capacity here is going to be rather limited in uh, this area. Um, although, you know, mine isn't that much different. I should probably try to upgrade Tonkin and uh, Anam. Oh god, that's a lot of money to build up those bases, though. At the same time, I probably do actually want air groups on these carriers. Um, and I think the question is, do I want full torpedo bombers? Or do I want to have a little bit of a fighter wing? And that honestly is a very good question. Uh, I think I'm going to go full torpedo bombers. Just a big-ass squadron of torpedo bombers on all the carriers. Okay. Now, I'm a little bit in the red... The bear will complete. Okay, uh, Seville Club Bear. Uh, uh, yeah, I can do that. Ignore. Something just happened. Okay, a lot of guys got promoted. And let me get a new CL in construction. Relations. Yeah, there is a very real risk I will have to fight Japan. Now, if I look at. Oh, they do. Oh, they did have a couple ships on Comet. Um, if I look at what they have. Right now, that's their best battleship. They're building another one, as well as two more. Kaga's small, Nagato's a little bit bigger. Battlecruiser wise, that's their best. Um,. Is a thought about trying to send like a battle division and a battle cruiser division. Um, in terms of the battle division, it would probably be the second battle division. In terms of battle cruiser division, I don't know. I could activate second battle cruiser and send them. Um, I could send 1st Battle Division. Yeah, let's send these guys over into, maybe not Northeast Asia, but, um, Southeast Asia. So, Division Editor, first of all, you need a new commander. I can probably just grab an average guy. Uh, but I wanted to add st stuff to these uh, carrier divisions. So, first carrier division is going to get that 
carrier. Second carry division, I think, is going to get clever. Lebear, which is, uh, is she still rebuilding? Or is, no, she's out now. Um, add air unit 20 torpedo bombers. Oh god, how much is this expanding? I don't know. Yeah, that's definitely the war I'm very concerned about right now. Um, I'll move these destroyers over to the uh, Southeast Asia that I have something over there. I'll move a set of cruisers. So these are working up. Actually, no, I need to move uh, the carriers. Yes, I will just move two of them to uh, Southeast Asia. Then uh, I'll move these this set of cruisers. Uh, maybe not all of them. Um, how about all these guys get to move to Southeast Asia? Armored cruiser-wise, I will move this division to Southeast Asia. There's no point in getting ob, like the short-range ones there. I don't even think like I'd really use these. So if I'm gonna have any deployed, this is probably the best one. I'm gonna keep the others in the reserve fleet just in case this isn't the war I fight. But um, honestly, the war I'm expecting to fight right now is very much against Japan. I'm not. Ex I'm at this point not ex not really expecting Italy. Maybe only slightly expecting Britain. Not really expecting Germany. Okay. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I gotta get... Uh... Well, okay, first of all, Protet here needs a new commander. You can grab an unassigned guy. And uh, Kleber needs a new commander. Which, um... Oh, screw it. Let's grab a, uh, this guy. No, I don't want a fleet exercise. I want to go to the uh, division editor and uh, grab somebody new for this coastal destroyer division, uh, which would be... I'll just do an unassigned CF. And if I need to grab him from there again, I can. Two ships have finished their working up. Okay, this is going to be costly for a little bit. I'm doing a lot of base expansion, especially kind of, you know, in the region I expect to be fighting in. There we go. Um, yeah, I, They're not going to be able to make use of it before war. Oh, that's a poor gun platform. Relations, the tensions are still 12. I don't think war with Britain's really going to happen here. Um, yeah. I also need refits on ships. Oh, Liberté slowed? Oh, god damn it. Yeah, it's about 10 years on. So oil turbine, even with normal engine priority, does just slow down regularly, it seems. That's lame. No. Yeah, it's, it's ten years on, so I suppose that was uh, gonna happen. But still, like... I, I thought oil-fired turbines were going to hold up better. But apparently it's still like a 10 years on sort of thing. For whatever reason, Suffren's machinery is still going strong. 
Well, she, what was she built with? She was built with, uh, normal. How the hell are you intact? Yeah, let's get Liberté and uh, Democracy built. How the hell is... How the hell did uh, Liberté lose speed before Suffren did? Maybe it's like the really early engines? And I feel like when they lose two knots of speed is probably when I'll do engine rebuilds. So not yet. That's going to cost me a lot per month. Seeking improved relations with us. Do all relations. Uh. Sure. 1% design savings on whole new scout prototypes. Ooh, hey, we get bomb, uh, a little bit of a bomb load now. Uh, range on these two is the same. This one is better speed. I will take it. Press proposals for a new aircraft. Uh, so now it's going to be the torpedo bomber that's the oldest. So once again, I will do range and maneuverability. Oh, someone got promoted somewhere. Yeah, Cosmo needs a new commander. I did, there's an above average here, so that's Samson. That will be the guy I grab. There we go. And then, honestly, at this point, you can just grab an a random unassigned guy. So I am currently deploying ships with the expectation of a potential war. Oh my god, what happens if I take this alliance? Um, hmm. This is tough. Part of me is like, I want to do it. But that means that I have two potential allies that are probably going to go to war with each other, and I'd have no idea on which one to fight. And it would decrease my budget. Man, it would piss off Britain, probably. They don't want to do that. Like, this is... This 12 is concerning. It's... Yeah, Japan and Russia are likely... Are very likely to fight each other. So I'm gonna say stronger alone. Um... And one of you two jumped the gun already. Fight each other. Orbin, assign a new commander. So you're a Tage class. That's actually pretty good. I want to grab something off of something older. Maybe this uh, the Curtis guy. Then just assign an unassigned commander, because that's a Pascal. I don't really care that much. So Democracy and Liberté are uh, reconstructing now. Did Democracy not reconstruct? Might have been a delay. That's the good news is that my two new CVLs are getting fairly close. We sh oh. Safeguard our interests. I think it would be really... I don't think this is going to work, but I think this would decrease tensions. 
The other thought is that I could do it with Russia. Because we already have a treaty, and this might extend it. Um, but I can... Yeah, I kind of wanted to try that with Britain, see if I could reduce some um, tensions. That didn't work. Okay. When will all the bases complete? The building, building... Yeah, I don't know when they will... Hold on, when will they actually finish expanding? 19... Oh my god, that's a lot of time to be paying that. Oh my god, that's a lot of time to be paying that. I didn't realize how long I'd be building that naval base. I have paid some attention. Is in the thing is in two bases were, you know, expanding bases were cheap. It's just something you did, and I'm like, oh yeah, no, I'll just casually do that. I've just shot my funding situation for two years. Um, yeah, that's not good. Okay, somebody didn't have a commander. That would be uh, 1st Coastal Destroy Division. Um, let me just grab a unknown CF. That's kind of what I'm trying to use those for, is determining you know, who's good and who's not. Okay. There we go. Two 6-inch Coastal Batteries finished. Uh, okay. Desay's crew quality has suffered. Left the service. So that guy's incompetent. Above average. I feel like I need to wait for these destroyers to complete to even begin thinking about rebuilding anything else, or at the very least, the uh, C the additional CVLs. Fourth uh, Coastal Destroyer Division, grab an unknown CF. So who is the incompetent guy? You are. So you're on an Alger. I'll just quickly throw in a uh, quick destroyer division to add you to, and then dissolve. Where is he? Dissolve division. Actually, can I add uh, yeah, an additional ship to that division? This means Alger can once again train up a new commander. Okay, so the good news is um, budget's going to get a little better here. Dock size expansion is going to be completed. Excellent. War has broken out between Russia and Japan. Of course. There we go. We are now at war with Japan. A rebellion has broken out in the Spanish possession of Norway. That is still such a cursed statement. Um, yeah. That is such a cursed that is such a cursed statement. Okay. High spying on Japan, low or decrease the lows to none. I need money from somewhere. Um But this does give me a uh, good navy in Okay, you know what? Activate Activate you guys. Honestly, I think you guys are going to sit this one out. Um, I'll leave you in... 
Yeah, I'll leave you in... No, I'm gonna mothball them. I know they're good ships. They're sitting this one out. You guys move down to um, Southeast, A or for now, Southeast Asia. You guys move to Southeast Asia. Move ships for now to Southeast Asia. Move ship to Southeast Asia. Guys, we'll stay in the Med. Move these ships to Southeast Asia. Uh, these guys will stay mothballed in the Med. Uh, the extra two carriers will now move to Southeast Asia. All right. Uh, remaining, all of you guys remaining, go to Southeast Asia. Um, Tages in the Mediterranean can also move down to Southeast Asia. So those are kind of the good cruisers right now. Um, these guys are forward deployed. I don't think I'm going to be forward deploying the rest of my cruisers, but I will, um, to keep Northern Europe, uh, protected, I will be activating, um, that set of cruisers. Destroyer wise, I think all of these guys should move down to, uh, Southeast Asia. All of these guys should move down to Southeast Asia. Um, these guys should go on trade protection. Uh, I'll get the 700 tonner um, casks, so they'll move down to Southeast Asia for now. I think the 500 tonners and older are going to move, are going to activate on trade protection. These guys for now will be reserve fleet. Eh. They'll, they'll be active in Northern Europe just as additional protection. And I will activate this ship and move her down to Southeast Asia. Technically I should be moving to Northeast Asia, but I'm going to move everything down to Southeast Asia first. Um, the rest of these cruisers right now will just be mothballed. Um, so I'm not going, like, full activation of the fleet, but I'm going most activation of the fleet due to high costs. I am going to cut research budget down to about 8%. So right now, this puts me in a, in a place where I am losing about 5,000 a turn. I can sustain this currently for about three months. In two months, I will be getting a bunch of destroyers done. So that's about, what, a little under four, let's say 400 times eight minus a couple hundred. Um, four times eight would be 32, so it would be 3,200, so about, probably about 3,000. This, these destroyers commissioning gives me two divisions of destroyers for probably about 3,000. Um, and then these CBLs will help. So... This is sustainable at the moment. The CVLs commissioning and the destroyers commissioning would save me enough funds to do stuff. Plus the subs commissioning. I am also going to send all of these subs down to uh, Northeast Asia. Actually, I'll do an auto move subs and an auto move ASW ships. Which should help. Uh, division editor, or division wise, uh, well, first of all, I think the Trouds need a new division. CL division, the Eighth Light Cruiser. So I will assign a commander. Um, in this case, I'd probably want a above average commander. And then add ships. Add the three trout class. Side of that, that's all the divisions currently done, but I will quickly get a 14th and 15th destroyer division ready.
And I don't really have great commander choices for these. I can do I can do a couple averages. And those will be for the next two destroyers to uh commission. Okay, and I think the move right now is deploy everything in Southeast Asia, which is already deployed down there. To Northeast Asia. Okay, so division editor-wise, um, we do have independence here, so let's see. So these two are supposed to be independent. The fifth light cruiser are Pascal classes. I will leave those as independent. Um, actually, honestly, in order to dissuade attacks, I think it is of benefit to at the very least put all these guys on trade protection. I also have an issue where uh, some of my bat or where a lot of my battleships don't have uh, improved directors. Oh god, that does cost me a little bit per month. I think I'm gonna halt Toulouse. Battlecruiser Toulouse will take a little bit longer to complete. Yeah, I'll put my subs on fleet support too. But I want to do work stuff out here, so. First cruiser division is sitting this war out. Second cruiser division is, as such, going to instead form as a core on uh, second battle cruiser division. Set roll, you're independent, first cruiser, for now. Third cruiser. Uh, set roll, you will actually be a core on 3rd Battle Division, as 4th uh, Battle Division is sitting this war out. I mean, 4th Battle Division is, at this point, being kept along, so that if I do wind up with a naval treaty, I have additional ships to scrap for tonnage. That's the entire purpose of 4th Battle Division at this point. That's probably going to be the entire p purpose of 4th Battle Division uh, going forward. Alright, so... Desdiv wise, the newest Desdiv should probably screen. How about this? You will be a support for the second battle cruiser division. So the sixth Desdiv. Those guys are moving. Actually, let me see. So first, second, third, and fourth. Set roll, independent. Set roll, independent. Set roll, independent. Those guys have started slowing down enough that um, their roll from now on is going to be independent. Fourth Des Divs should not be an independent one. Fourth does need to form on something. So does the six. I assume that the rest of you are not trade protection ships, right? Yeah, those are all moving. So the fifth as div is not moving. I'll just set your role as independent. Um, which the rest of these are moving. So how do I want this set up? Actually, here. Let's set all the roles for now to independent. Okay. So six and seventh or six, seventh, and eighth are the uh cask class destroyers. These are Definitely a little bit worse. Um, 
Okay, so I'm going to put these as screens on some of the lesser divisions. So you're going to be a screen on third battle. You're going to be a screen on second cruiser. I think... I'll hold off. I'll hold off on you for now. I'm actually going to set you guys as a support on first battle cruiser. I'm going to set the 11th destroyer as a support on second battle cruiser. I'm going to set the 12th destroyer as a support on first battle. And then the 10th destroyer as a support on second battle. Or uh, maybe a screen on second battle. I'll set these all to screens, actually. On second battle cruiser, and set roll as a screen on first battle cruiser. So, yeah, those are all my best destroyers. Now I have these lesser ones. So I have the sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth, as well as the fourth. Fourth's actually decent. Um, so I actually want the fourth on something better. Which, um, honestly, I think part of me wants the fourth to be a support on the C on the carrier divisions. Um, actually, you know what? Here's what I do. The cast classes aren't all that great. So I'm going to set them as a screen on the carrier divisions. For now on first and second carrier. The eighth destroyer division will probably eventually become a screen on the third carrier and get replaced by one of the two new divisions of Toreg destroyers that are, you know, about to commission. And all those ships will... Actually, no, those carriers will probably get a group of Torig class as a support for them. So that gives those carrier divisions screens. That means I have three more destroyer divisions left. So I will set these guys as a support on second cruiser. Or maybe a screen on second cruiser. These guys can be a screen for third cruiser. That does that gets me all the major battle divisions, right? I don't I don't have one for third battle. So you can be a screen for third battle. Okay, so now my all my major forces have a destroyer screen. Scout cruiser wise. So, ninth. Okay, so um, the third is going to be set roll independent. Uh, I'm not interested in the third. I'm not interested in the fourth. So the fifth, fourth, and third I'm not interested in. Um, second is deployed out there already. First is going to deploy out there, and the 7th, 6th, and 8th are also deploying out there. Um, I think it is of benefit for the 8th to be a scout for the 1st Battlecruiser Division. Um, 6th can be the scout for the 1st Battle Division, which means that I think you're going to be support... For the first battle cruiser division. Uh, actually, support the second battle cruiser division. So then I have these additional two cruiser groups. So you will be support for um, second battle. I think you will be support for third battle. And then if I need to get any of these out. I don't know, the Suchets are really slow at this point. Uh, 
All right. I think that is all the division stuff done. So, um, I mean, this episode's gone on for an hour. That's where I'm going to call it. Japan got another battleship commissioned, unfortunately. Yeah, we are, we're, we're going to Asia to fight Japan. See how that goes. Um, Japan's Navy does not appear to be worked up at the moment. And, uh, you know, we are, we got the airbase done there too, right? Yeah. So the last thing I, or last thing I probably want to do is at um, Airbase Shanghai, first of all, expand, oh, expand it, and uh, add aircraft. So I'm going to do, okay, you know what, let's, let's do naval patrol aircraft. Let's do like six of them, add air unit torpedo bombers for the rest. Okay, so uh, yeah, join, join us next time as we uh, go to war with Japan. Thank you, everyone, for watching. This has been me, No Name Woman Seven Spore, with Rule the Ways Three. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Naval Warfare Simulations, Matrix, and Slytherin for giving me the copy for this. Uh, I am get, I am finally starting to theorize in in my time. It's, hopefully, now it is done for you about the key giveaway thing. I'm actually like making a plan for how to do that. Seems like it's it's got a much better chance of going ahead, but I f almost feel like it's gonna have to be like the third stream I do. And I still haven't done that first stream yet. So I gotta finish the Real Waves 2 German thing, I gotta do a second stream, probably like starting up the campaign to do the giveaway, and then I wanna do the third one when it's probably a little bit more entertaining. I'm a little bit worried that the first stream for the, you know, stream campaign is gonna take too long. But you know, this is so long in the future, I have no idea. Um, I've probably already done that already, hopefully. Like, this is releasing on, I think, what, like, June 12th, June 13th. So, hopefully I've already done that. Like, hopefully I've way already done that by now. And, um, but yeah, yeah that's where I'm at in my timeline. Uh, links to my own Discord, Twitch, and Twitter are down below if you're interested, as well as a community Rule the Ways Discord server if you're interested in that. Alright, that's all I gotta say. Bye!